A battery is a source of electrical energy which is provided by one or more electrochemical cells of the battery after the conversion of stored chemical energy. In today's life, batteries play an important part as many households and industrial appliances use batteries as their power source. Batteries can be divided into two major categories, primary batteries and secondary batteries. A primary battery is a disposable kind of battery. Once used, it cannot be recharged. Secondary batteries are rechargeable batteries. Once empty, it can be recharged again. This charging and discharging can happen many times depending on the battery type. Alkaline batteries, mercury batteries, silver oxide batteries, and zinc carbon batteries are examples of primary batteries, whereas lead acid batteries and lithium batteries fall into the secondary batteries category. In this video, we will learn about different types of battery and their advantages and disadvantages. Unfortunately, there is no single battery technology available on the market today that can be considered as the solution for all classes of portable battery operated devices. There are a variety of batteries in use, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. There are two main categories of batteries. Number one primary batteries and number two secondary batteries primary batteries sometimes also called single use or throw away batteries because they have to be discarded after they run empty as they cannot be recharged for reuse primary batteries can produce current immediately on assembly disposable batteries are intended to be used once and discarded these are most commonly used in portable devices that have low current drain, are only used intermittently, or are used well away from an alternate power source, such as in alarm and communication circuits where other electric power is only intermittently available. Disposable primary cells cannot be reliably recharged, since the chemical reactions are not easily reversible and active materials may not return to the original forms. Battery manufacturers recommended against attempting to recharge primary cells. Primary batteries are included. Carbon zinc, heavy duty. The lowest cost primary cell household is the zinc aside manganese dioxide battery. They provide only very low power but have a good shelf life and are well suited for clocks and remote controls. Alkaline cell. The most commonly used primary cell households is the zinc alkaline manganese dioxide battery. They provide more power per use than carbon zinc and secondary batteries and have an excellent shelf life. Lithium cells. Lithium batteries offer performance advantages well beyond the capabilities of conventional aqueous electrolyte battery systems. Their shelf life can be well above 10 years and they will work at very low temperatures. Lithium batteries are mainly used in small formats, coin cells up to about AA size. Because bigger sizes of lithium batteries are a safety concern in consumer applications, bigger example D sizes are only used in military applications. Silver oxide cells. These batteries have a very high energy density but are very expensive due to the high cost of silver. Therefore, silver oxide cells are mainly used in a button cell format for watches and calculators. Zinc air cells. These batteries have become the standard for hearing aid batteries. They have a very long run time because they store only the anode material inside the cell and use the oxygen from the ambient air as a cathode. Number 2. Secondary batteries. Mostly called rechargeable batteries because they can be recharged for reuse. They are usually assembled with active materials in the discharged state. Rechargeable batteries or secondary cells can be recharged by applying electric current, which reverses the chemical reactions that occur during its use. Devices to supply the appropriate current are called chargers or rechargers. Secondary batteries are included. Rechargeable alkaline battery. Secondary alkaline batteries, the lowest cost rechargeable cells, have a long shelf life and are useful for moderate power applications. Their cycle life is less than most other secondary batteries. But they are a great consumer choice 
as they combine the benefits of the popular alkaline cells with the added benefit of a reuse after recharging. They have no toxic ingredients and can be disposed of in regular landfills, local regulations permitting. Nickel Cadmium Secondary nickel cadmium batteries are rugged and reliable. They exhibit a high power capability, a wide operating temperature range and a long cycle life, but have a low run time per charge. They have a self-discharge rate of approximately 30% per month. They contain about 50% toxic carcinogenic cadmium and have to be recycled. Nickel Metal Hydride Secondary nickel metal batteries are an extension of the old-fashioned nickel cadmium batteries. Nickel metal batteries provide the same voltage as nickel cadmium batteries but offer at least 30% more capacity. They exhibit good higher current capability and have a long cycle life. The self-discharge rate is higher than nickel cadmium at approximately 40% per month. Nickel metal cells contain no toxic cadmium, but they still contain a large amount of nickel oxides and also some cobalt, which are known human carcinogens and should be recycled. Lithium ion Secondary lithium ion batteries are the latest breakthrough in rechargeable batteries. They are at least 30% lighter in weight than NIMH batteries and provide at least 30% more capacity. They exhibit good high current capability and have a long cycle life. The self-discharge rate is better than NIMH at approximately 20% per month. Overheating will damage the batteries and could cause a fire. Lithium ion cells contain no toxic cadmium, but they still contain either cobalt oxides or nickel oxides, which are known human carcinogens and should be recycled. Lead Acid Secondary lead acid batteries are the most popular rechargeable batteries worldwide. Both the battery product and the manufacturing process are proven, economical and reliable. However, because they are heavy, lead acid batteries are not being used in portable, consumer applications. Lead is a toxic, sarcinogenic compound and should not enter the regular waste stream. Recycling of the lead acid batteries is the environmental success story of our time, approx. 93% of all battery lead is being recycled today and reused in the production of new lead acid batteries. Dear sir, thanks for watching my videos. If you have any questions, write in the comment box. Don't forget to like and share. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel, Learning Engineering, and get a notification to press the bell icon.